it's getting too much. Our society is in danger. I don't know what to do anymore. I fought so hard to stop them, but it seems it's all been in vain. But no more. Enough is enough. Isn't that right, Teresa? But it is time to say enough is enough. Enough is enough. Lovely. Why I dislike coffee. Unreasonable, you say? No, definitely a valid discussion. We recently had a British election, so let's talk about something that's actually important. Something that we can actually make a decision about. But Dan, the election was very important. You do realise whoever we elect will determine our country's future, right? Just shut up! When was the last time they actually debated something that was important? Every week. Well, until they pass a law against pineapple going on pizza, <laughs> it's all pointless drivel. With the man who invented the pineapple pizza died this week. Where's your respect? Oh. Right! Now I'm a reasonable person. I like to see both sides of every argument so I can make real, firm, solid and accurate decisions. But if this debate was a coin, it would only have one side. Coffee is disgusting. I literally can't stand it. The look of it. The smell of it. The taste of it. I don't get it. Why is it so popular in the UK? <laughs> As of last year in 2016, there were an estimated 898 Starbucks coffee stores in the UK alone, with Costa at a whopping 2,121 in the UK alone. Bear in mind, that's just this country. You take into account all of the other Starbucks stores in the world, and that takes it up to a gloriously painful 23,768 stores. <laughs> Kill me. Now I would class myself as a patriotic British individual. What is more stereotypically British than drinking tea with a scone? When foreigners mock our people, they never say, Oh, what, what? I tell you what would be splendid right now, a spot of coffee and a scone. No, it's tea. <laughs> it's never coffee. Tea is superior in almost every way. It's appearance, it's taste, and it's advertisement. I mean, where's your coffee monkey, hmm? Hey? Where's your coffee? We have a tea monkey. And coffee contains drugs. Yeah, drugs. There are an estimated 20 milligrams of caffeine in a 100 gram cup of tea. There are 40 milligrams in the same amount of coffee. That's twice as much. Twice as much. Drugs. You want to meet your maker? Hmm? Hmm? No? Stop taking drugs then, you addict. Coffee also keeps you awake at night. Tea doesn't. So not only can it kill you, it can ruin your sleep. Ah! Here's a crazy thing I bet you didn't know. Coffee was discovered by goats. Legend says that goats came across the coffee beans by accident and the farmer was suspicious as to why the goats went crazy when they ate the beans. It's because they're drugs, mate. Do you, do you not see a pattern here? <laughs> it's obvious, why can't you see it? I, I can see it, I can. <laughs> How stupid do you feel of all animals to discover the drink that you base your life around? Goats. Think about what you're drinking. Tea is love. And tea is life. And where's your sloth coffee infuser? Hmm? Not here, obviously. Hmm? Mmm. Yum. Live longer. Live better. Drink tea. Thank you.
too much milk in that. Too much milk.